Hey, I'm John Storms, and I'm going to give you a tour of our Disney Cruise stateroom. We're on the Disney Magic, which was the first Disney ship, and we are in stateroom 8550. First thing you do in your stateroom is you figure out where your muster station is, and ours is deck 4i. <coughs> Room has all the light controls right here, so you have lights for the main cabin, the entrance, and then there's two toilets. This is actually really nice. So you have one toilet, which is the potty, so you have a little standard cruise ship potty. And then below you have some a shelf for storage, another glass shelf here, plus here. So we're here with uh, myself, my wife, and our two girls, and we have plenty of room in the bathroom. And it comes with a built-in hair dryer with an extra outlet. So you have an outlet in the bathroom. And then, over here, you have another bathroom. Again, there's a shelf at the bottom. There's a glass shelf there with the sink. You have your towels. <clears throat> then over here you have your shower. You got a little towel rack here. They got a uh, removable head with a uh, clothesline. And then right there are the controls for the shower. And they have a little tray there for all the nice soaps that they give you. Now the, the lip of the shower is really high, so if you have small children or if you want, you could take a bath <coughs> and use it as a tub. Now also the front here, they got the, uh, the closet which has the sliding doors and they got your life jackets up there in case there's a problem. And then they got room for luggage and here they give you a nice little safe. We already took our valuables out. This is our last day so we're actually packed up to go and then there's some places for shoes. <coughs> and of course, there's the other side of it. More life jackets, a very loud shirt. And there's our luggage all ready to be put out tomorrow at 10. Then they give you this nice, of course we got a picture of Walt Disney there. A nice little shelf there for all your things. And then they got these drawers for all your clothes. Then over to the side here they got a little, little something you could use as a seat. We kept the kids shoes under there. <clears throat> and then of course you have the bed. Get yourself another drawer, and they have an illuminated clock because it gets very dark. And then you also have a place where you can put your iPod. And then, of course, this controls the light above. Here is the thermostat. We didn't see any kind of motion control on it, um, and uh, we've had it pretty much pegged to cold the whole time we're here. And air conditioner was a little slow the first day, but it's kept up okay. It's not super. Uh, of course here you got a little hook so you can hang things. Now if you've gone on the Dis on the Dream or the Fantasy before, uh, one thing that we noticed that the bed is lower than it was on the Dream or the Fantasy. So you can't store your suitcases underneath it like we could on the Dream. So the that's one thing we didn't like. Of course you have lights on either side. And a phone that you can call down for room service and have them bring room service. Nice little picture. And of course here we have a privacy curtain that can divide the kids from the parents. Has a uh, flat screen TV that uh, plays movies. And here they got a cooler, which we actually never used. It's a very small fridge. <clears throat> we never used it. We went up to deck nine most of the time and filled our big mugs, which are over there, with soda and just brought them down. We're on deck eight here, so the soda machines are right above us. Here they have a nice little cabinet. Kept our electronics there. Of course, a bunch more drawers where we kept all of our medicines and lotions. Desk drawer. Of course, here we use this as our charging station. This is the wave phone charging station. Every room gets two wave phones. This is one of them. So our room is 8550, so our cell phone numbers on board are 8551 and 8552. We can call each other. And of course the desk has little lamps. This is the ladder that goes to the bed that's stored in the ceiling here. This couch also folds out to a bed. We have a little table and it's adjustable so you can make it a footrest or a table. And then in the wall here is another Murphy bed. We got a little chair. And then we have this bigger chest that we can use to store clothes. <clears throat> and again, we have these curtains here which
do a really good job of blocking out all this all the light uh, of morning so you can sleep in and uh, room service is the uh, uh, the people who clean the room the housekeeping do a, they made us a little animal every night and this morning we came in and the monkey had my uh, daughter swim trunks on and of course then you have the balcony <clears throat> on the balcony you got an ashtray you have lights a pair of chairs and a little table and of course beautiful view right now we're right in the middle of the uh, Gulf of Mexico headed back to Galveston from Cozumel and it's been a beautiful trip oh there's the phone hello yeah I'm on my way down I'm just videotaping the room yeah. oh awesome yeah I'll be right there okay I'll grab the sodas and I'll be right down. Okay. Love you. Bye. So that was my wife. She's uh, downstairs in the D lounge. We're uh, getting ready to play Final Bingo. So she's taking a class in uh, making those towel things. They have this little light here that controls the lights out there. So if you don't like to look at the ocean, you just want light, you can have it. And what I'll try, and of course over here you got another little thing. Another little cabinet where you can put stuff. And the ottoman here doubles as a seat for the desk. So all in all, pretty nice room. Uh, the Disney Dream, a little bit different. Disney Dream didn't have this. Also the other thing you'll notice in the Disney Dream is that uh, this wall space was a little more effectively used for, for storage. But uh, still still not a bad room so we were we were very happy with it and I'll try to uh, tonight when they turn the room down I'll try to get a video of that as well okay so this is what the room looks like when it's been turned down for turn down service housekeeping put together a little looks like a dog this bunk came down out of the ceiling now in the dream they had a little Peter Pan picture up there and of course this turned into the couch turned into a bed and if we needed another bed, this Murphy bed would pull down.